Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So, another what I eat in a day video for you guys. Today I am doing carnivore and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing carnivore all week long until my monthly weigh-in on June 29th, whatever that Wednesday is. I think it's the 29th. So, gonna find out what I weigh at. Haven't weighed myself all month long. I'm loving these monthly weigh-ins. They're just really keeping me on track and helping me to focus on the lifestyle and not the number on the scale. So anyway, I'm doing carnivore all week long, and so I'm just going to show you guys uh, what I'm eating today. So as you know, I am a very simple girl, and as you know, I love my chaffle. So today is just going to be a simple chaffle sandwich. I made up two of my crispy, cheesy chaffles, and if you are curious as to how I make my chaffles, check out this video right here because it's going to show you exactly how I make them and seven different ways that I like to eat them. That video is when I'm not doing the keto egg fast. If I am doing the keto egg fast, then check out this video right here. That will show you uh, how I make them when I'm doing the egg fast. I just kind of tweak it a little bit. So made up two of my cheesy crispy chaffles and I'm just going to have a tuna chaffle sandwich today. The tuna I use is Starkist solid white and I just mix it with about a tablespoon of mayonnaise and I just put it together as a sandwich and I'm going to have a piece of sharp cheddar cheese with it as well. So that is my first meal. I do uh, dirty fasting so I did fast up until now and it is 12 15. So I just had my coffee uh, this morning I mix it with unsweetened vanilla almond milk and French vanilla nut pods that I get on Amazon so yeah I'll put that link below if you guys want to check it out it's a dairy-free unsweetened creamer I don't like sweet coffee so it works perfectly for me so yeah I'm gonna go eat because I am hungry and I'll catch you later and let you know what I'm eating for the rest of the day Hey guys, so another carnivore day, and it's another simple day, of course. This morning I did fast until about, it was like 12, 15? Yeah, I think it was like 12, 15 that I ate. Uh, so I did have my uh, coffee this morning, same way I make it. I always drink it as iced coffee with unsweetened vanilla almond milk and French vanilla nut pods. And yeah, for lunch, I had a chaffle sandwich. So I have the batter in the fridge, and so I usually make a big batch of the chaffle batter, and then I'll have chaffle sandwiches like every day for like four or five days, as long as it lasts me. So don't want it to go to waste. Never let chaffle batter go to waste, ever. Chaffles, game changer. So anyway, today I actually had a spam chaffle sandwich. So I made two crispy, cheesy chaffles again, and then I fried up about two ounces of spam, uh, put it in my sandwich uh, with a little bit of mustard and a piece of sharp cheddar cheese. And it was just really, really, really yummy. And my kids kept wanting bites, and I'm like, this is mine, it's my lunch. But anyway, it was really, really good. So yeah, I'm about to make another coffee. I'm trying to drink some more water right now. Um, and then for dinner, I'm not really sure what we're having. I have an idea but I gotta make sure we have all the ingredients and everything so it's gonna be another carnivore meal tonight and I'm excited for it if we have all the stuff so yeah I'll catch you back here later 
All right guys, so I'm about to make dinner. Uh, this afternoon I had another iced coffee and I also had like 10 slices of pepperoni and a piece of sharp cheddar cheese. It's usually like my um, second meal slash snack. I usually grab some pepperoni and cheese, especially when I'm doing carnivore. So that is what I had earlier. Now I'm about to make dinner and I had all the ingredients for what I planned on making, which is awesome. I'm gonna be making a bacon wrapped beef roll. So let's go over what exactly we need to make it. All right, so this recipe will actually make two uh, bacon beef rolls, but we're just gonna do one uh, because the kids aren't even gonna eat it. They're gonna probably have spaghetti. And Chris and I, I mean, we can always save the other one, but I'm just gonna make one today. Uh, and uh, yeah, cause that's all we'll eat. So let's go over the ingredients, what we need. We're gonna half this recipe uh, because we're only making one. So we're just gonna need one egg uh, beaten, which I've already done that. Uh, an eighth cup of uh, low carb ketchup, which I use G Hughes uh, low carb ketchup. It is so good. I love G Hughes products. There's so many of his marinades and sauces and dressings and they're just so super good and they're sugar free. And uh, yeah, we're gonna need one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I said that right. Two ounces of cheddar cheese I have here. Uh, we're also gonna need a half a teaspoon of salt, an eighth a teaspoon of pepper, one pound of hamburg, and uh, six strips of bacon. So let's go ahead and put this together. So it came out really, really good. The bacon looks crispy. I did put it under uh, the broiler for a couple minutes after it was done to make the bacon more crispier. So we're gonna go eat that. How good does that look? Looks so good. So yum, highly recommend making this. I will put the link down below uh, where you can find the recipe. So let's go. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you don't know, I have a Facebook support group, The Shrinkables. Come join us over there. I'll put that link below. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will see you at the next video. Stay safe and choose health. Bye, guys. We're gonna need one tablespoon of Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire, Worcestershire, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>